ladies and gents, boys and girls. This is the video you've all been waiting for. My flat tour! Woo! For those of you who don't know, I basically live in a boarding school. I am the member of staff on duty overnight, so I've got a flat in the middle of the school building, basically, and that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today. But before I do that, I'd just like to quickly mention the jewellery I'm wearing because they were kindly gifted to me and I love them and I want to share them with you. So, I've worked with them before, they're a called TIJN and they do all sorts, they do sunglasses, they do contact lenses and they also do jewellery and I will show you what pieces I've got on for them today. So on this ear, this earring is from TIJN and on this ear it is the first two and then they also kindly sent me some rings, um, oh I don't want to swear at you, sorry I'm literally swearing at you but um, Sorry, I'm just trying to show you my rings. Uh, these two are from TIJN as well. This one's my favourite. Also, ignore my nails, I'm getting them done next week. Um, love her. But anyways, I just wanted to quickly mention them. I'll leave the link in the bio. They're great. Check them out. Fantastic. Anyways, let's get on to the flat door. Whee! Right, okay, let's start at the front door. That will be a good start. This is my front door, and you can see my shadow. Hello! On the left, as you come in, is this little peg moment. Basically, I just hang up all my masks here, and like, all my like, lanyards and stuff to get in, and my keys and stuff. But yeah, it's just very handy to have. And then on this side, I stuck up an adhesive cork corkboard? Chalkboard. And it's just really cute. It's really handy, like I just write down all the stuff I need to do. And it was three pounds. Three pounds from Tiger. The thing is, I'm literally only living here for like 12 weeks. So I didn't want to spend like too much money like decorating it or anything. Like there's just no point. So this place is done up on a budget. Just letting you know. But I think I've done it quite well. So, oh yeah, and there's also some chalk on the floor next to my rug. And I've also got this little full length mirror here. Stuck some brandy stickers up the top to make it cute. As I said in my last video, it's really good because obviously I boarded at the school before I worked here and then I've also been to uni and back. So I had loads of stuff left over, like this mirror for example. Um, so I just kind of recycled that and used that to decorate this flat. Moving on, um, hat stand. My mum insisted that I got the tote bag with the letter N on it, even though my name starts with the letter L, uh, just because she liked the colours. So then I've also got my laundry, and I'll quickly show you the bathroom. Hello. Um, so this is my bathroom. Got a cute little mirror, some tampons next to it, disguised very strategically by this fake plant. Also got some cute lush bath bombs just to spruce it up a bit. Toilet, sink, bath, shower, random stain. It was here before I got there, but I can't wash it off. I'm just, I'm intrigued about what it is. Like, I've actually got no idea. Is it bleach or like, who knows? But yeah, that is the one thing about this flat. It's definitely not living the lap of luxury like that. Oh, some little quirks like that, which I will point out along the way. Um, but I don't mind that at all. Couldn't ask for a better place. Anyways, moving on. But yeah, that's a bathroom. I really like the floor. It's like Alice in Wonderland vibes. I don't know why it, why it's Alice in Wonderland, but it just reminds me of that for some reason. Moving on, I will now show you my bedroom, which is the main room and the best room. Three, two, one. Woo! It looks much better at night, so I will put in an overlay of what it looks like at night now. But yeah, it's just so cute. I love it. Right, okay, we'll start here to the left of the door. We have this manky sofa. Um, it's a bit interesting, but we've just covered it up with a throw and put a couple pillows on it. Um, this is Slug, everybody. Jenny's decided to call him Slug. Um, so that's his name. He's quite cute. And he just lives here on this sofa. And then above that, I've just got a couple of pictures. The window is kind of reflecting it, so you can't really see, but this is my 2021 mood board. And you know what? I feel like it actually does motivate me every morning. I'm not just saying that, like it actually seriously does. So yeah. Anyways, uh, this one is really cute. I got this for my 18th birthday and basically it's just a load of cute messages from my family and friends. I don't know, it's a nice little happy wall to have just as like I walk out of my room to start the day. Do you know what I mean? Moving on to my desk. It's a bit crowded on here, but oh, you can see me. 
Hello, but I've just got my makeup, my hair stuff, perfumes, jewelry, mirror, fan, speaker, and then this kind of ugly chair, but I've covered it up with a jumper, so. And then I've got my bedside table, which is just covered in wires because that is literally the only socket. Uh, just charge everything, and this is my work phone, so if anyone phones me in the night, I can pick it up and help them. And then moving on to my bed area. Very nice. Can we have a round of applause, please? Thank you. So I'm very lucky. I've got a double bed, which is very nice. And I've just decorated it with a few pillows and white bedding. I always go for white bedding. And then I've just got this cute little throw. I think it was from Morrison's. This corner is kind of the star of the show. Let's be real. So I've put up my LED strips and they can light up any colour, which is really groovy at night. I put up some fake vine leaves as well, which I think just ties it all in. I literally just got all these photos off of Pinterest. They're left over from uni as well, and I just printed them off with free prints, so they were super cheap. Again, that little neon cloud is left over from uni, and so is that poster. And then, ladies and gents, I have a projector. Again, I'll overlay some clips of it at night when it's like working properly and it's all vibey, you know? But yeah, it's really cute and I can watch anything on it. They're also not that expensive either. Like, for like basically having a cinema in your house, it's pretty good. I would recommend you just get it on Amazon. Moving on to the window, I've just put some cute little fairy lights around it and got these plants. Um, the window is broken, it doesn't open, so there is there is the handle for the window. Love that for her. Um, and then I've got a lovely view of the sports changing rooms. Very nice. But yeah, and then I've just got a box full of crap. But yes, that is the bedroom. Oh, and beanbag. I don't really use this because obviously I can't have any guests over because hashtag COVID. Okay, moving on to this little room. We won't go in because we can't actually go in because it's so full. Uh, basically, um, oh, it smells nice in here. It's basically just where I do my washing and it's a little storage moment, so it's where I keep all my suitcases. Um, also, all the wardrobes are in here. They don't quite close. They just kind of pop open. But, I mean, it's fine. It stores my clothes well, so that's the main thing. But yeah, I currently have about a square foot of standing space, so I'm gonna head back and show you the rest of the flat. Woo! Right. Okay, oh, also, I forgot to point out that there's mould on the ceiling, which we really love. It just has a bit of character, you know. I really don't mind it, actually. Back through here we go. So there's the front door, and if we turn this way, we have the living room. Quick little announcement. This is really not my favourite room. Um, it's a bit dark and a bit dingy. So I did the best I could, okay? And I also was on a budget, okay? So just keep that in mind. Anyways, okay, let's, let's carry on. So this is the little living room area so obviously we have this beautiful sofa not my favorite but you know what i don't really use it so it's fine again i tried to cover it up with some throws and some pillows and then also this wall okay this wall was a bit of an experiment right basically i just tried to judge it up a bit you know so i just went into tiger and i was like i want to find something cheap and big that i could just put on a wall and make it a bit funky um and i came across these gold playing cards which in theory i thought would look cool but now i kind of i walk in here and i kind of feel like i'm in some sort of like poker club you know but you know it's fine we'll allow it it's better to have decorations than no decorations at all do you get me and it looks quite funky in the mirror you know just a nice little background to have there's also a little tv which doesn't work so that's fun but it's fine because i've got my projector try to spruce it up as well with a little plant and a photo of me and my friends which is cute and then over here we have the kitchen dining table area if you will this is where i have all three of my meals it's actually not too bad it's quite comfortable i sit there don't know why don't sit anywhere else that is my seat and i like it that way also got these cute little um frames from tiger they're like a pound each the only thing is i think you're meant to put your own records in them like it literally says like perfect for your old album covers. But I don't own any vinyl cases to put in there, so I'm just keeping the original artwork. But I don't think it looks half bad. I think it's quite cool. If you're looking to decorate somewhere cheaply, just like a uni dorm or whatever, Tiger. Tiger is the way to go. They have some very nice stuff. Anyways, okay, final room. Let's go. This, ladies and gents, is my kitchen with all my 
washing up to do. Um, I'll just give you a cute little pan. I mean, it's a bit self-explanatory, like a kitchen's a kitchen, you know. I've got my fridge and freezer. This is my box of snacks up here. Hello. The only thing is there's no microwave. But yeah, that is pretty much my flat. I've lived here a week now-ish, um, and I love it. I'm just so grateful to be able to live here, to have a job, and it be a job that I enjoy. So if you're watching this right now and things aren't quite going your way, please know that things have a way of working themselves out because this time six months ago, I was an emotional wreck, but now things have started to work their way out. And this is your sign to know that things do have a way of working their way out. It just takes a bit of time. So yeah, that's my message to you. And that's the note I'm gonna leave you on. But yes, I'm gonna love you and leave you. And I need to go buy some toilet roll. Adult things. Remember that I love you all millions and trillions. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.